Just remember that. This next joint is dedicated to the one of the most powerful queens in the history of my culture, and most people don't know her name. It's a shame. Her name is Queen Teshiri. And this poem that I'm about to read to you is extracted from history itself. Listen close. Feel this flow. Thousands of years ago. The people screamed in terror. The barbarians were everywhere, killing people and raging, eating some of those, even Joe's trying to escape it. And during this madness, the soldiers fought back. They tried to hold the gates and stand strong, but it wasn't long until they gave way. Bodies flying, hundreds to a thousand men all died this day. And there she stood in the window and in the hallway, watching. She yelled and gave orders, and then quickly through majestic corridors, she started walking. She entered the Pharaoh's chamber. She calmed herself. She controlled her anger. She asked the great goddess for assistance. The goddess whispered, told her, and she was the goddess. All she had to do was look inside and to listen. She grabbed the scepter and held it above her head like a weapon. All the people bowed in truth and saw her dignity and gave acceptance. And then this is the true subliminal lesson. She took control in our greatest time of need. Her story hard to find in the books that you read. She's famous because she was strong and a queen during the global invasion. This is a time where she was able to fight off the devils and their global plan for enslavement. Stabilized her people and got them all to safety. This queen of Kemet in the land they now call Egypt. And when she went south, she asked her cousins, the Nubians for, in the south, for help to retake the land, to reestablish the families and the clans. And all of this work was done by her hands. But she gets no credit because she's not a man. History and TV wants to make you think that our ancients were sexist. But this is a lie. This is just a story they want to try to hide and create more lies. Because women in our ancient lives have always had equality and all the same rights. So when you think of Egypt or Kemet, don't think of, of ever of Nefertiti. I'm not trying to be mean or greedy. Instead, always remember her name. Queen Teshiri. The real reason all of this came. In poem. Yeah. Queen Teshiri was in charge of Kemet when it was invaded by the, the northern barbarian tribes. You always hear about these invasions in Kemet, but the very first one that happened, she was in charge, got all our people to safety, fought off the invaders. You don't hear about it, though, because it doesn't fit the crazy story they want you to know. Tess Cherie. Everything I say tonight, you feel free to Google it.